But I'm running out your re up in my pocket. Don't talk about me anyhow. Everywhere you put it, I'm not talking about the best. For your benefit, every day's a better version of me than the previous. For that all hundred yards. I shut that shit the fuck down, dude. This was like an amazing performance by me, man. Fuck, I networked with so many people. I met Vinny Wells. This dude, Vinny Wells, man, real lyricist. Me and him are gonna team up and drop an album. This guy's a fucking killer, bro. So he's basically gonna uh, put me in rotation and I'm gonna go to the next uh, showcase. He's gonna invite me. Or I'm already there, dude. Fucking A, but um... Yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna go see. Yeah, the one thing I wanted to say and I wanted to address this publicly is none of my so-called fucking friends were there to support me. Nobody I love was there to support me. Nobody but me. Nobody showed, bro. And I ain't even feeling any way about it because honestly, it's their loss. Bunch of fucking dorks. You guys think you have better things? to fucking do than to come see me you guys are a bunch of clowns dog and when i get rich i fucking you stupid fucks fuck all you dude none of you guys should even hit me up anymore fuck you is it hard to accept guys is it hard to accept that i'm the fucking truth you know while the rest of you cut is it hard for your ego to accept it you know are you fucking butthurt what gives? I'm better than you. So what? So fucking what? You know? Jesus Christ. Fucking in, like what, man? I'm just trying to help. I'm trying to love, dude. I'm good at shit. And I'm bad at shit. You're good at shit. And you're also bad at, like, what the fuck gives, dog? Like, you're so stuck in the physical world. Like, this shit doesn't even exist, bro. We're not even alive right now. I'm trying to put you onto some UFO shit, dog. Death and life are the same thing. They're in equilibrium, bro. We're dead right now. It doesn't even exist, man. Come on. You're over here ego tripping, bro. I'm trying to... F bro, my boy said meet him at the wave, bro. Like, <laughs> I, didn't, I, thought I literally expected this to be like some fucking hotel off the interstate. <laughs> like, this is some fucking luxury, dude. <laughs> My boy! Man, what's wrong with my phone, dude? This is a fucking movie. I need to stay here with Krista, bro. What? How have we not stayed at this place, dude? My boy Rob out here, country cooking, bro. Doing fucking big albino apes in the blender, dog. Let's go. Fucking, this, this is the kill switch, dog. Baby, where's my boy? Is that him? That's on him. Oh, sorry there. Hey, I just got a bunch of dude. It's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty serious in here. <laughs> you can sit on the apple pie. It's okay. It's uh, yeah, we're doing it big. What's up, my friend? Man, when you said, uh, you know, meet me at the wave. I, this is my, this is beautiful, bro. This is classy, classy. That's the, yes, dude. Those things. <laughs> On another note, though, seriously, I've recorded the funniest fucking YouTube video. Well, it's not up yet, but I uh, did the whole thing in my old neighborhood. It's fucking good, man. When I get home, I'm going to upload that. It's, it's just funny, man. Like, my old stories and shit. It's a real trip, bro, the retarded kid Aaron. <laughs> it's it's tough. <laughs> hey guys, it's uh, Davey London here to tell you that I have an average size willy and I uh, sometimes pee sitting down. Peace. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Notch. I'm just kind of shrugging off the sleepiness. Um, was up pretty late last night, but dude, that was such a fun show. Legitimately, shouts out to Zayna. 
Um, it was all because of her. And this is just the first of many. We're going to get our local uh, show so popular that all of us are going to make it. Because the amount of talent in that building last night was unbelievable. I'm fucking in love, bro. To the top. One love. Notch. All right. I wanted to get on here to address, you know, my statements, all that, you know, because I talk my shit. Don't get me wrong. I like talking my shit. That's what your boy do. Um, but, you know, greatest artist of all time, most grammy, most boogie on the scene. But it goes like this. I'm changing my brain. I'm changing my thought patterns permanently by thinking those repeated thoughts repeated over and over. I'm gonna change my brain into a manifesting machine. So even if all my shit that I talk don't come true, I'll still go far as fuck. And a lot of people, you know, who know me personally, they know my situation. They know they were at my wedding. But you know what I figured out about women and life in general? We come from women. So happy International Women's Month and respect your woman. Anyways, um, I'm going to spend these next 10 years getting it. Building my wealth. Getting that shit. That's, that's it. I will provide bro you know what I'm saying because I'm in love bro it's true love not no new love she'll she'll always be there and that's the thing man I I did this thought the right way the whole time dog. like really I'm Dave's kid come on now I'm big Dave but I big man in the sky man. miss you pop <laughs> that okay smiling man. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta you gotta put a serious face on him, man. You're supposed to be boxing. <laughs> I think they did pretty good though when they went to bumping them. Yeah, they got I got a lot of what I'm doing right now, so I'll just put serious back on the What's it for me? Man, she about to get her ass knocked out, bro. Put your hands up, dog. <laughs> I should have told you that for real. They would have stopped calling, man. Oh, she goes. Yeah, they can do that. You get going, keep going. That's what they tell me. Every time I play the brim, people start to notice me. Who do you think you are? I'm not sure. I'm a little bit so nervous. I'm a little bit 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 nervous. Ain't no joke, dog. This shit ain't no joke, dog. You all know what the fuck going on, bro. This ain't no damn joke. This a way of life. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Sit up, push ups. Yeah. Pick up some baby parts. That's it. This ain't the last supper. Mm -hmm. We're gonna call this one the first supper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This ain't the last of this is the first supper, bro. Because after this, it's infinite. Real shit. Oh, he told you to record? Oh, on that oh man, this, this is this how it start though. You know what I'm saying? Years later on down the road, it's like hey, Memories, you know, baby. How I start. Mental roller decks. My flex. I ain't gonna lie, this shit is guys. Mm-hmm. Bro. Honestly, bro, I'm not gonna lie, these are my favorite, dog. I can't fuck bro. with the sweets that it reminds me of like peanut butter and jelly, dog. You know what I'm saying? I had too many like forced peanut butter and jellies as a kid. They like forced me to eat it, bro. That, you know what I'm saying? A little kindergarten shit. Like, eat your fucking lunch and go back and say. That shit's giving me terrors, bro. Okay. 
This is my job now. This is my job now. Ain't gonna stop now. Ain't gonna stop now. They in the background. Yeah. That right. Yes. Yep, yep, yeah. Yes, sir. It's your boy Notch. No, Notch, Notch. Five letter name. I'm a great. Local celebrity, local celebrity, I'm a local celebrity. Elementary trap, 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 keep him. Fuck that bitch, stop talking. Kick that bitch out. Sleep in a dog house. Back that shit up. Yeah. I figured telling people that he bonus, man. I hate it, gonna hate. They already eat the cake, but say they don't know how to bake, and it's true. There's nothing you can do. Say Brad to steal you better than that person next to you. I've been up in crowded rooms full of people trying to boo. Then they hit a kid nice and they're like, hey, I told you, bro, Grace. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on in that song to the ambiance. Yeah. They gon' feel my presence like the kind of presence that I'll have me do with Christmas songs. I get for me to you to get across seats. I head start the best yet with less mess. Take your next step and let's check your best threat on the death step. All right, so it's back to boring old fucking regular life. But I've been getting asked questions from random people, like, through Snap and shit. Because I've been adding a lot of people. You should see my uh, stories. It's got, like, 200. It's not a lot, but it's, like, 200 views on my stories and shit. But anyway, um, yes, to answer your question, yes, I write all my lyrics. It's all me, dog. Like, that's the thing. That's why... Like, each time I go back to the studio, the crowds are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Because they know, like, bro, I figured out the key. I know. I know how to write like Drake, bro. For real. <laughs> I try to tell everybody, man, but nobody b would believe in me. So the joke's on you, dude. I'm going to be a billionaire. Fuck all y'all. All right. And then what was really funny is, like, okay, so last night I was at the, uh, at the show. And, like, I was talking to some dude after my set. And he was fucking looked my age, but I guess he was like in his late forties. Anyway, there's a black dude, fucking carbonated, carbonated being. Um, but he uh, told me he just ghostwrites, bro, and that's what he's done his whole fucking career. And he showed me receipts and shit. So like, once I get in the game and stuff, you know, like write a verse here, write a. There's a whole underbelly, like the music industry. People are making serious money. My producer, Mike. Told me he made 170 grand last year and he's estimated to make 225 uh, this year, dog. So, like, if he can do that, like, with my talent, easily, dog. Like, that's what I'm saying. So, I've been trying to tell Krista, but, like, she doesn't hear it. And women, especially women, like, they don't see a man's vision till that shit's reality. Well, it's starting to become reality and she, she's starting to come around. And a lot of what people think about me right now stems from what my girl, you know, puts out there. So, like... Basically, what I've been telling Krista is, like, this destiny thing that I have, all, it's already been written. Like, it was written before I was born. And Krista's a part of that. You know what I'm saying? So, I already know what my accomplishments will be on this earth. I've seen it in my dreams. I know it's... I'm beyond manifesting, man. You know? And one day, I'll sell my recipe of supplements... And my whole regimen, because you can't just take mushrooms. You have to be, you know, things need to be in synchronicity with your chakras. Dude, people don't even know. So, um, I, uh, that's why Krista thinks I'm crazy, bro, because she can't understand it. So she tells other people I'm crazy. I'm not crazy, dog. Real shit. Uh, n newsflash. Just kidding. I'm crazy. <laughs> with this crazy ass Einstein hair looking like Calvin Montgomery at the damn schoolyard, boy. Hey. Has anybody wondered what Calvin Montgomery's up to these days? Or like Jeremy Rybicki? You know, Jeremy Rybicki had eight toes and three dicks. You know what I'm saying? That's like an inside joke me and Krista have is that Jeremy's got eight toes, but they webbed. But motherfuckers got three dicks, dog. All different directions. So, but hey, you put those things in a cock ring, dog. 
three cock strong, bro. Or by Vicky coming through in the clutch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, we goofy over here, bro. Oh, and by the way, like, all those fake-ass motherfuckers, I already done blocked your fucking number, dog. Lose mine, too, because my number's going to be worth some money, dog, one day. So, y'all missed your chance. I was trying to fuck with you, man, but you, your life's going so great that, uh, you know, you couldn't fucking call me back or none of that. So, <laughs> like, legitimately, bro, I cut bait. I've cut bait, I've buried that fucking hatchet dog, and that's it. And I'm surrounded by brothers dogs, so I ain't worried about like safety or none of that. Um, I'm pretty well protected, um, but it's all love. I, you know, that's all, that's the only emotion I feel is love dog, because that's why like sometimes I'd be taking things personally. So, like, yeah, what I was saying is, like, that's why sometimes, like, with my only emotion being love, is, like, sometimes I take things so personally, bro, because I'm coming at people with love, you know? Um, my heart on my sleeve type shit. So, like, uh, when people don't reciprocate that, I take offense to it. And I'm trying to curb it, bro. I'm trying to curb it. But I have so much love to give, you know what I'm saying, my dog? Like, I have so much love to, to inspire others with and to bring creative genius out of people. Um, you know, with the, with the precursor to, uh, to, uh, uh, ultimate intelligence, I just truly feel, um, like nobody understands me. Um, and all the hate that I've received, I understand that it's, it's misconstrued love dog, but I just don't know how to lead people to water. Like I'm leading everybody to water, man. I just can't get them to drink, you know, because I like a lot of people, we're born into sin. A lot of my friends were born into sin. When you're born into sin, dog. Okay, so like peep this. When you're born into sin, um, your parents speak the language of strugglers. So you don't have a, a love um, emotion that, uh, that the household's running under. Uh, there is love. I mean, don't get me wrong, but most of the majority of times um, the families run with fear because uh, there's two emotions, love and fear. Everything stems from that. So, you know, being born into sin, your parents speak that language, dog, so they don't know how to accept love, you know what I'm saying? So when a motherfucker like me comes around leading with love, dog, it really throws people off and um, they don't fuck with me because of various reasons, this and the other. But I'm not the demon, bro. Like, honestly, like, the demon is within them, bro. I'm trying, like, because people like me, I was born th that way, dog, but it's my opportunity uh, to help, to help the, the people that weren't born um, into a family... Like, you know, of love and shit like that. So come on, man. I'm trying to help.